Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to use Terraform to create the primary building block for most AWS deployments, the VPC. So let's get started. As you can see here, the VPC is actually pretty straightforward. You basically specify the resource, this being the actual resource, as you can see, AWS VPC. This is a static value that cannot be changed. If you change this, you're not going to deploy a VPC. Now, after that, we've got the name for this VPC, which in this case is main. We can name it whatever it is we want. This is a logical name that only Terraform knows about. So this isn't going to show up in AWS anywhere. So again, make sure you understand that. But this is how we will reference this VPC in future lessons. And then we just provide a CIDR block. Now, there are also lots of other options that you can specify here. As you can see, it gets pretty complicated. If you go down to the argument reference, you can see that we have a lot of stuff here we can use, such as enable DNS support, which defaults to true, and enable DNS host names, which defaults to false. So let's go ahead and let's utilize this to create a VPC. I'm going to bring my VS code back over here, and I'm going to create a new file, and we're going to call that main.tf. So I'll create a new file main.tf, just like so. Make sure that it is in the proper directory here and you didn't accidentally add it within the Terraform directory here. And we've got that up. Now, the way these TF files are processed is they're processed as if they're all the same file. So if you have 20 TF files in here, all with different resources, they're all going to be processed as if they're the same file. So keep that in mind. You can split up your code however makes sense to you. You can have a compute.tf, networking.tf, whatever you'd like, it's all processed the same as long as it's in the same directory. So let's go ahead and create this VPC resource. So I'm going to type resource AWS VPC, just like so. So this of course is specifying that I want a resource. Where here I wanted a provider, here I want a resource. Now, once again, let's name this VPC. I'm going to name it MTC for more than certified VPC, just like so. And then I'm going to use some curly braces here. This will wrap our entire resource. Then I want to specify that CIDR block. And in my case, I'm going to do 10.123.0.0 slash 16. If you've taken my other courses, you've probably seen this CIDR block before. Now under that, let's say I want to enable DNS host names. As you remember, DNS host names defaults to false. So if I want to enable this, I need to make sure that I add it. So I'll go ahead and enable DNS host names equals true, just like so. And if I wanted to, I can also say enable DNS support equals true. Now we don't have to because this is assumed. However, depending on your development team, you might want to ensure that this is explicitly mentioned. Your team may not understand what's default for your VPC, and it might be very helpful to be very explicit and specify some things that default is true as true just to ensure that one, it's easy to modify, and two, your team knows that this is enabled. Again, not required, but it's something you might want to do. Now, under that, we're going to specify some tags. And I just want a name for it, and I'm just going to name it dev just like so. So I know that this is my dev VPC whenever I go searching. All right, and as you can see, I've got my two curly braces here. One is to enclose these tags, and one is to enclose this resource. So that's all I need there. Let's go ahead and run a Terraform plan, just like so. And what this is going to do is let us know what we're trying to build. Just like so, as you can see, we've got all of these new pieces that are going to be created within our VPC resource. We're going to have our CIDR block, an ARN will be created, which we won't know until we actually apply it. And the same with a lot of this other information, such as the ID, we will not know until we apply it. Now, as you can see, we've got these green plus marks. That means that these are all being added. So that all looks good. We've got one actual resource, AWS VPC .mtc VPC to add. So what we want to do next is apply. We'll run a Terraform apply, just like so. 
And as you can see, it basically runs another plan and then asks us to confirm. And to confirm, I'm going to type yes, scroll this up a little bit, and our VPC is being created. All right, perfect. Our apply is now complete. So if we go over here to our AWS pane, I'm going to click no here. I do not need US East 1 right now because I am in US West. I'm then going to click on resources. And as you can see, I've actually got some resources already shown here. That's from a previous installation. If you click on this little sprocket, type AWS colon colon EC2 colon colon VPC. You can also search for VPC. You can see that that's been added. Go ahead and check mark that and click OK to ensure that resource is added. Then if you click on it, you'll see our brand new VPC is here. So there's our CIDR block, our default network ACL, default security group. It looks like everything is here. Enable DNS host names is true. Enable DNS support is true. All right, so perfect. So that works. Go ahead and mark this lesson complete. Come on back to the next one and let's continue the course.